So as well as Richard's home, Necker Island is used as a, as a private holiday destination. The, the biggest energy consumers on the island um, have a lot of air conditioning systems to cater for our guests, swimming pools, hot tubs that we have to heat. So we're going to be switching from 100% diesel power to a mixture of solar and wind power. We're going to have approximately 700 kilowatts of solar power and 300 kilowatts of wind. We've started taking energy efficiency measures on the island. So we've installed more efficient air conditioning systems, LED lighting, um, more efficient pool pumps, heaters. Um, there's a lot to do, but, but we're, we're making a start. So let's go and take a look at where we're going to put the solar panels and the wind turbines on NECA and, and how we're going to make our power. On the hillside behind me, we'll be locating three 100 kilowatt wind turbines. Starting from, from over here, we'll have one site here, a second site here, and the third turbine right here. Um, we're looking at ideas of, of painting them um, of various colors to match the sky and the landscape. So behind me is the site where we'll locate the, the solar panels on NECA. Um, there'll be two and a half thousand panels which uh, equates to 700 kilowatts of power and it'll provide about half of the renewables, about the same as the wind turbines. The panels will be in a, a thin strip running from the point on the island over here through the bush all the way down to engineering. Um, and the idea is to blend them into the bush and the landscape as much as possible. It's not to say let's put bang up all the renewables everywhere and make sure they're really obvious. You can still do things to make them discreet, but fundamentally they're a lot more beautiful than a power station. Last year we already made some, some improvements to our electrical infrastructure on the island with these generator controls um, and this is the point where the renewables will, will integrate and connect to our electrical grid. To islands considering microgrids and renewable energy, the case is compelling. From one big dirty power station importing expensive diesel to multiple sources of generation that are cheap and abundant from wind, solar, biomass and tidal and other. Uh, the, the list is endless and it's, the future is bright for them. Uh, and I think a lot of people will be looking to us. I mean, Necker Island is one of the most iconic places to stay in the world. Um, and this is, uh, it's setting a trend um, and it's, it's all, for, all for the good. So I'm really hoping that Necker Island sets a fantastic example in Carbon Warrior's 10 Island Challenge. It's a way of proving to the world that you can flip the island off fossil fuels and it makes economic sense to do so with a fantastic guest experience at the same time and you won't hear that whir of the generator in the background uh, and it's, it just creates the whole environment and makes it greener, cleaner and it, it's what should be happening for the future, it's what should be normal. When Richard said let's turn Neck around, let's be faster than all your other partners, we're really excited. This is a beacon for us and it shows the world this can be done. I think it's, it's very exciting to be right on the brink of, of making some positive changes on Necker, um, reducing our environmental impacts and hopefully setting a, a great example for other island communities worldwide.